It's Wes. Super Wes, that is. In this video, we're going to talk about the message bar up here and the different settings that scroll through there. Now, if the ventilator's been running for a while, it will start scrolling through the different return patient values. The PIP, the map, and so forth. If you, if you need to chart them or go through, through them, them one by one, press the select button and it'll start going through one by one. The F is the, the frequency of breaths. That's their actual breath rate. Now down here, it shows what the ventilator is giving in the breaths, but if they're taking a couple extra breaths, some spontaneous breaths, it will show you the patient's actual breath rate. Press and release again. The VTE is the exhale tidal volume. That's how much air is coming out of their lungs with every breath. And it changes with every breath. And it's one behind because you see it gives a breath here. Now, as it starts the next breath, it'll change the volume to that last breath because it reads it on exhalation. If they take a, an extra breath, it might be a little bit different. Sometimes the values will be real small or about half of what they're taking or maybe a bit more, maybe because they're taking a, an extra breath and not getting that full deep breath that the ventilator gives them. Click it again and VE is the exhaled minute volume. That's how much air went in and out of their lungs during the previous minute. It's all the, the volume from all those breaths added up together. And in this case, it's 7.2 liters. The I to E ratio, that's the inspiratory time to expiratory time ratio. And in this case, it's for, for every period of time they breathe in, they're breathing out 1.9 now. If they take an extra breath, that will change. It, and it does change with every breath really important in a setting where we can control what the ID ratio is. But with this machine, it changes with each breath, so but it's, it's important to record it, but we can't do a lot, of, a lot of other things with it. The PIP is the peak inspiratory pressure. That's the highest pressure during the previous breath. As you can see up here on the pressure bar, it's given a breath, and it stops right here about 18. And you can see that. That, that just makes it easier to show you. There is an internal option that when it does give the breath, it'll leave the LED light lit up here at the highest pressure. So if you see that light stay on sometimes, that is why. The PIP is more important with people who are getting a volume type breath. Because just generally speaking, the higher the pressure is, the more congested or the more difficult time they are having to breathing. So if you're always taking care of this patient and their peak inspiratory pressure is around 18 to 22, but today it's up to 26, 27, they're usually congested. There's something going on figure out what it is and fix the problem. It usually involves clearing out some phlegm from their lungs. This usually will not rise in the pressure type breath or in the pressure control breaths because it limits the amount of pressure that it'll give. That doesn't mean your patient's not getting congested or not having trouble breathing. It just means that it's controlling their, their pressure so it won't go too high. The MAP is the mean airway pressure. That's the average pressure on their lungs over the previous minute. And this is usually used for uh, neonates and infants to make sure that the pressure on their lungs is not too high. It gives us an idea if there's going to be any damage to their lungs, and we want to keep that pretty low. Uh, typically below 12, but uh, the doctor usually deal with that. A good point of reference is to, to look at what they have been doing, what their MAP has been. And if it is, it's high, then there's a problem. The PEEP, this stands for positive end expiratory pressure. Okay, what that means after, that's the pressure left on their lungs after they breathe out. You see here, it doesn't go all the way to zero. It stops here about five. I'll explain the PEEP a little bit more in depth in another video. Okay, that's all the return patient values in here. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.